Hello everyone, today I'm making pancake mix for my prepper pantry and I'm actually making a half recipe so if you notice some of the measurements are a little odd like a tablespoon and a half that type of thing of whatever that's why and, but I'll put the full recipe down below I'm making a half just because the container I'm working with won't accommodate a whole recipe so anyway you start off with six cups of flour And by the way, the reason why I'm using this recipe is because it doesn't have stuff that's going to go bad easily. Obviously, flour doesn't last forever, but it lasts for a long time. So that's three cups. Um, there's four. Okay, I've got my six cups of flour. And now I'm going to do three-fourths of a cup of sugar. And so I'm going to do a half of a cup of sugar and then a fourth of a cup of sugar. Because that's the measuring uh, devices that I have. So that is a half a cup. And a fourth of a cup of sugar so that's three-fourths cup of sugar one cup of milk dried milk powder and I'm using just the great value so you can see there's one cup of dry milk powder a tablespoon of baking soda and two and a half tablespoons of baking powder so there's one two all right okay and now I'm going to put a half of a tablespoon of salt and I'm just kind of guesstimating here since I don't have a half tablespoon measure all right and that is all the ingredients that are in here and so what I'm going to do is since I have this container with a lid to mix it, I'm just going to shake it until I'm sure that it is well combined. I'm going to roll it around. All right. Now, the reason why I love this mix is because not only is it very simple to make and just has basic ingredients that you would have on hand in your pantry is you only have to add water to it to make your pancakes and I'm going to demonstrate that in just a minute here but the way that you do it is it depends on how thick you like your pancakes I like my pancakes on the thin side so I would do one cup of the mix with one cup of water and I'll show you that in a bit if you like your pancakes thicker you would do, let's say, a cup of mix to three-fourths of a cup of water or even a little less. So you'll have to experiment to get the thickness that you want. But I'll bring you back and show you that in just a minute. Okay, now let's make some pancakes. I have one cup of the pancake mix here. I have a cup of water here. I'm going to put most, but not all, of the water see I'll, I'll put about three quarters of a cup to start and then we'll see how thick it is okay that's definitely too thick so I'm gonna put the rest of it in or at least most of it we'll see and again to some degree it's a matter of preference regarding how thick you like your pancakes I like mine a little bit on the thin side so I think that this is good Okay, now when it comes to the griddle, I have it heating and uh, I'm new to using this induction burner so this is kind of experimental for me in terms of the uh, temperatures and stuff. But the way you test a griddle is you drop some water on and if it sizzles, it's ready. Now if it sizzled and immediately disappeared, then it would be too hot and you would need to turn the heat down. But since it sizzled but didn't immediately disappear, I think it's at a good 
um, level. So I'm going to just spray some nonstick spray. And I'm using a half cup of batter. And I'm just going to pour that on. And what we're going to do is we're going to wait until, let's see if I can zoom in on that a little bit better. Wait until you see a lot of the little dots forming, bubbles forming on the bottom. That's how you can tell that it's done. So you can see it's, it's way too, um, not yet cooked well enough. So we need to wait until it looks a little bit dry on the bottom. And you can tell, well, you can probably tell that the pancake's a little bit thinner than maybe you would like. And so, again, this is a preference thing. So you can start off with less water and always add in more if you like, if the pancake is too thick or if the batter's too thick. Okay. So I'm still going to wait. It's still not quite ready yet. It still looks very wet. And... What I also do is I just kind of go like this because if it's gooey on the end, like it is right now, it's not ready for me to flip it over. Okay. Oh, this is looking good. Okay, so actually I kind of cooked it a little too much. You can see it's a little bit dark on the one side. And again, this is a matter of me learning to use this new uh, burner. So I'm going to turn it down just a little bit. But the pancake is actually turning out, to me, a nice thickness. So you see that side looks better. And that's how it looks on the side. Okay, so I'm going to let it cook just a teeny bit more to make sure it gets done in the middle. And I wanted to talk a little bit more about why this specific uh, mix is good for a prepper pantry. Really for any pantry, but especially if you have a prepper pantry. And that is because you don't need eggs. You don't need, well, you need a little bit of oil or spray like I'm using to um, cook with. But you don't need to add any to the mix. And also, there's nothing like that in the dry mix. And so, it's less likely to go bad on the shelf. Like, if you had put, say, shortening or that type of thing in the mix, then it would go rancid more quickly. And so, um, that's why I recommend this for your prepper pantry. Um, flour can go bad, but it, it should last you for a while on the shelf. And uh, if you're using white flour, wheat flour is not advisable. So anyway, I hope that you found this helpful and that you'll give it a try. I will put the uh, recipe in the description, so be sure to check that out. If you enjoyed this video, I'd appreciate it if you would like the video and, of course, if you would also subscribe to my channel. Thanks so much, everyone. Have a great day.